Hi everyone and welcome to this video series in partnership with Cork County Libraries where we will be exploring some of the sensory tools and strategies that might be available in your local library. My name is Jess Kennedy, I'm an occupational therapist and founder of MyOT and Me. So why we use sensory tools is to support self-regulation. So self-regulation is a very complex process that develops over time. But basically, it's your child's ability to manage their emotions and behavior well enough so that they can focus on tasks, cope in different environments and manage their emotions so that they can problem solve. So if you think about this when they enter an environment like the library, it's a different environment, it might be busy, it might be quiet, you might like to do some reading of books with them or you might try and get some of their homework done. You can use some of these sensory tools to support their ability to focus or maybe to cope with the sensory elements of their environment. Sensory tools are also quite expensive, so this is a nice way for parents to be able to trial different tools with their child to see if they're even effective or their child enjoys them, so then you might be able to purchase them for home or at school. So every child is so individual and so are their sensory needs. So it's not one fit suits all. So you really want to come in, explore, observe, see how they get on with these different sensory tools and think about when might this be helpful for them and why. So the why really comes back to what are your child's sensory preferences? What do you know about your child? And you want to think about this initially. Do they enjoy movement? Maybe they love looking at different toys and the visual details of it. Maybe they have a preference for darker environments or quieter environments. And this will give you some clues about what they might enjoy and what you can introduce to them to support their ability to self-regulate. This is particularly important for children who might become stressed or overwhelmed in different environments. So you might be looking for tools that you can use to support their ability to cope when you're going to different places. That might not even just be the library. It could be when you're going to the shopping center with them. It could be when they're in busy environments. You might be able to use some of the sensory tools in the library to help support them in these situations. So when you're using the sensory tools or introducing them to your child, you really want to introduce why they are using them. It's important that they have choice, that they are part of this process and that it's an enjoyable experience. So always consider your child's strengths, their interests, but also their safety when you're using the different equipment. Is this age appropriate or developmentally appropriate? Is this something that actually supports their sensory needs? So I'll go through some of the more basic equipment that might be available and also some of the equipment that you might see in your child's school or at home so you have an understanding of why we might use these and why they might be beneficial. 